Hi guys, it's your girl Tanya, and I am back again with another foundation review video today. So today we will be reviewing the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. Um, this baby does have a price point of $48, and if you are interested and you want to see how this foundation works on over 40 skin, continue to keep on watching. All right, so let me just tell you a couple things about the Laura Mercier Silk Cream um, Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. It is a cream foundation, um, and um, it says to shake well. It has a price point of $48, so it is in the, um, very much in the high-end luxury um, brand Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier powder. Um, I've always used that. So this foundation is a full to medium coverage. It is for normal to dry skin. The finish on it is satin, matte, radiant, natural. Um, and the description of it is a hydrating 12 hour wear foundation that remains comfortable on the skin. It creates a flawless, comfortable canvas that lasts up to 12 hours with Laura Mercier fullest coverage foundation. The high pigment formula blends seamlessly, hiding even hard to cover perfect imperfections, which we are going to try that today because a couple of my friends have come for the party. Um, it is naturally luminous, radiant finish that is ideal for selfies, photos, videos, and special events and everyday wear. Um, Color True Pigments virtually disappear on the skin for a smooth, even application and blending. So, I am excited to try this. Like I said, it does have a price point of $48, which is a little on the pricey side, but you know, your girl, how your girl does. I'm going to use a beauty blender to um, apply this foundation today, but um, first I'm going to spray my face with a little Coley. Um, elixir. I like to use that to get started on the makeup application. Um, for primer, I'm going to, I want something that's going to keep it kind of glowy. I'm going to use the MAC uh, Strobe Cream. Pink light, yeah. Actually got too much. But my skin is pretty dry. So, this is why I decided to go ahead and use this because it's going to give an extra little bit of hydration to my skin as well. We're going to give this foundation a, a good shake here. Like I said, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender um, to apply it today. Did about maybe two little squeezes. It's probably too much, honestly. Oh, I'm in the shade uh, Nutmeg. And did I tell you guys how many shades they come in? I don't think I did. It comes in 16 shades. So 16 shades, which isn't a, a great range, but hey. This shade might be just a little bit too dark for me right now, and it is kind of on the orangier side, which would be fine if it were summer because I feel like it would match my body a little bit better. Um, it did cover up that redness, I mean, it's not going to cover up the, the pimple, but what I want to do is I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation here around my mouth area, so I want to just dab a little bit more right in that area there. But overall, the foundation doesn't look bad, and I think on I think on camera it does transfer pretty well. Um, everything just looks nice and smooth. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I will be back to give you my overall thoughts on the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So this is the overall look and I got a couple thoughts about this foundation so one thing I will say it does I feel like it does look really pretty on camera I feel like it it is a good um, foundation to wear if you were taking photos or something like that I do think that it's really really pretty on um, 
one thing I will say it does transfer and I said it so um, as far as it having a natural finish I don't think that it's I, I feel like it's like a demi matte more so than natural um, because natural kind of gives you that still that skin glow and I don't feel like I have that skin glow with this foundation I don't feel like it's super glowy like I expected it to be because it says in there that it gives that radiant look so I don't really see that but overall on camera it looks it looks fantastic um would I say spend $48 on this eh, I, I'm not a fan I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this um I it, foundation that I love to wear that looks really great on photos and looks good on the skin overall as a whole is definitely the MAC um, Studio Fix. I love that. I will never stop using it. I continuously buy it because that's something I love to wear and on found um, in pictures. But this, I don't know. I don't know if I would repurchase this. Like I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna continuously wear it just to see throughout the summer. But I don't know if this is something that I would definitely repurchase. I would get a sample and try it first if this is something that you might want to try. Um, I would try it first to see how it works out for you and then purchase it because $48 is not chump change. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing it though. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, my name is Tanya and I do makeup reviews for women over or people over 40. Um, we would love to have you in the Tanya family. So if you don't mind, if you just hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I put up new content. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and all of that. And I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Peace.